Today we're going to be titrating nickel in an electroless nickel plating bath. And I'm going to use a 10 mil pipette to take my sample. Pipette is going to be a much more accurate way of measuring a sample. And we're going to put this into a clean beaker. I have a 150 mil beaker for this. Size doesn't really matter as far as the beaker goes, as long as it's clean. And once we've placed our sample into the beaker, we're going to add 50 mils of deionized water. And the amount of water isn't critical. We just want to have some volume here so we'll be able to see our, our color endpoint. After adding the water, we're going to add 10 mils of concentrated ammonium hydroxide using a graduated cylinder to measure the ammonium hydroxide. Not as critical as the sample itself, so a graduated cylinder is fine. Add that. And you're going to see when we add the ammonium hydroxide, we have a nice purple color as the nickel is complexed with the ammonium hydroxide. And then for our indicator, we're using rear oxide. And this is a powdered indicator. We need um, about a half a gram, very small amount, which is pretty much just a shake. So now we have an orange color as now the nickel is forming a complex with the murexide. And we're going to titrate with 0.1 molar EDTA today. Uh, some people will use 0.0575 molar. Just make sure the strength that you're using is the strength that is recommended in the procedure because that strength will be taken into account in the calculation. And we're going to go to a purple endpoint. So I'm going to add the EDTA in a fairly consistent speed here and then as this starts to darken I'm going to slow down. And what we're looking for is a bright purple endpoint. As you can see it's slowly starting to darken. And then some people will stop right about here, which it's purple, but it's not a vivid purple. So you're going to need to go just a few more drops and you'll see that nice bright purple endpoint. And this titration can be found in our technical data for all of our electroless nickel products. Thank you.